this is a video on the cell membrane that is the outer lining of the cell here is a eukaryotic cell eukaryotic cell means a cell with a nucleus a cell with a nucleus is called an eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus and if we take the cell there is an outer lining double layered membrane which is known as the cell membrane which is known as the cell membrane this cell membrane is made up of lipids and proteins first i'll be talking about the lipids and then about the proteins so this is this clothes pin shaped structure clothes pin shaped structure we hang clothes and we put a clothes pin this clothes pin shaped structure is called a phospholipid this clothes pin shaped structure is called a phospholipid means it has a phosphate group and a lipid it has a head and two tails the head is water loving water loving meaning hydrophilic hydrophilic water loving head and a tail portion the tail portion the two tails are oriented towards each other towards the center the tail portion is water fearing it is water fearing or hydrophobic water fearing or hydrophobic water fearing or hydrophobic and this molecule is called an amphipathic molecule means it has a water loving head which is hydrophilic and water fearing tail hydrophobic and it is called an amphipathic molecule means it has a dual nature there is another molecule which is like a small wire connecting a very long fence of wires small wire connecting a very long fence of wires and this molecule is cholesterol this molecule is cholesterol cholesterol which we consider harmful but it provides of course there is good cholesterol and bad cholesterol and this cholesterol provides stability to the cell membrane stability to the cell membrane on the outside there are glycolipids there are glycolipids that is carbohydrate with lipids and they help in attaching one cell to another so they function as cell adhesion molecules attach one cells to the other so they function as cell adhesion molecules so these are the lipids phospholipids cholesterol and glycolipids phospholipid is amphipathic cholesterol provides stability and glycolipid help as cell adhesion molecules now we'll be talking about the proteins proteins are of two types one type of protein lies within the cell membrane within the cell membrane it is inside the cell membrane and this is known as integral protein it is, the word uses 
embedded and other is inside the cell membrane attaching the cell membrane to the cytoskeleton so the, there is the integral protein integral means it is an integral part of the cell membrane it is formally attached within the cell membrane is embedded in the cell membrane and then there is another protein which is intrinsic which lies on the inside of the cell membrane and it helps in attaching the cell membrane to the cytoskeleton to the cytoskeleton that is the inner scaffolding of the cell that is the scaffolding of the cell to the cytoskeleton that is the scaffolding of the cell the integral membrane proteins are of five types the channels carriers and pumps and pumps the channel could be the sodium and potassium channel in depolarization sodium channel potassium channel in depolarization carriers are like the sodium glucose co-transporter in the kidney and in the GIT SGLT 1 and 2 and pumps are sodium potassium ATPase pump which is present in all cells of the body. In addition there could be receptors like the adrenergic receptor and there are antigens which are the blood group antigens. Adren receptors could be adrenergic receptors. And then there are blood group antigens. You can see that cell membrane is fluid. That is, it is made up of a bilayer of lipids, but the lipids can move laterally. In addition, proteins decorate the membrane. So, lipids moving laterally, proteins decorating the membrane in a mosaic pattern. Hence, it is known as a fluid mosaic model. model. Mosaic fluid means that the lipids can move laterally within the plane of the membrane. So, the bilayer is slightly fluidic and proteins decorate the membrane. So, it is known as a fluid mosaic model. Then there is a sea of lipids with proteins floating as icebergs in a sea of lipids. We all remember the movie Titanic, proteins floating as icebergs in a sea of lipids. Protein floating as icebergs in a sea of lipids. So to sum up, the lipids which are phospholipids, which is amphipathic cholesterol, provides stability to the membrane. Then there are glycolipids, which have function as cell adhesion molecules. Proteins are integral proteins embedded in the cell membrane and intrinsic proteins. Integral proteins are channels, carriers, pumps, receptors, and antigens. I'm Dr. Swapnil Parlekar. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like the video, share and subscribe. Thank you again. Have a good day.